Hi, Darpin readers. This is Renu Singh Joseph, your editor. Darpin is very excited. We are here at Pan Pacific Hotel, and we are about to interview legendary rapper Hardcore. Follow us in. First off, welcome to Vancouver. Thank you so much. What do you think about our lovely city? Uh, well, look out the window. I was just like, oh my god, what a view to wake up to, you guys. Um, Weather-wise, I'm used to it because I've been from UK as well. But oh yeah, rainy, rainy city, yeah. London to Vancouver. Is it's so pretty. I mean, it's so beautiful. So yeah, well, I know you guys are gonna have good food as well. So a really good food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why did you want to get involved with Toyfa? Thing is, like. Um, you know, they asked me to do this, and I feel that I've never been to Vancouver before, and not coming to Canada before. Like this is the right platform to do the the beginning of my journey in Vancouver. You know, this is the right thing to start with because everybody was saying to me, "I have such a big fan following here." Mm -hmm. and they're like, "How come you don't come to Vancouver?" I was like, "Book karo so I'll come." But <laughs> this is the right way to start. You know, and then there's a lot of community here. We we'll get to see my performance uh, through the toy first, and then we're gonna come back for a tour. Can you tell me about your transition? Um, how did you get into the world of hip hop? Um, you know, growing up, uh, well, you can read the most of it about the whole story, but briefly, what it is, I grew, I was born in India. Mm -hmm. um, after the age of four, I had, you know, we decided to shift to UK. Mm -hmm. Didn't know how to speak any English. Used to get bullied a lot at school, oh. and I, I kind of discovered hip hop, and I was like, you know what, this is what I want to do. It, I would always say hip hop saved my life because it gave me a voice, you know, I could stand up for myself. So whatever I wanted to say, I could say it through my lyrics. And So I watched my first video and I was like, you can say what you want, you can wear what you want, you can do what you want. This is what I want to do. And I, it's not, I don't have to be too girly, you know, I can be myself and exactly do what I want. So that's, that's the reason I was so attracted to hip hop. And then everybody was like, Indian girls don't rap. So I was like, okay, then I'm definitely going to do it. So, my mom always supported me. She's like, they don't have Nila Google. And I was like, no. So let me do it. And here I am, still the first female, Indian female rapper. So. so you had mentioned a lot of people first said to you, females don't rap. Can you tell me about some of the obstacles and challenges you faced? I mean, I think half of the community was really shocked by half of the community was on my side. Um, coming from India, India is like really more westernized. Mm -hmm. And I felt that going to UK, people were a bit more old school. So it, it was kind of difficult for me to make them understand. But anything you do at the beginning, people always have issues, you know. Um, once they get it or once you're successful, pe people obviously start appreciating it. When I first started, like 18, 20 years ago, nobody used to, even boys never used to rap, you know. Mm -hmm. but the obstacles is just like, it's a male-dominated industry. It's hard for you to even get paid for the show. You finish a show and, you know, you're not getting your check on time, but all the boys are. So those are the little things I used to always have, like I used to always have issues with. But you just work hard, stay at it, and then become hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> um, the music industry I find in the UK is very different. It's very specific. Yeah. And now um, you're kind of merging into the indie market, the Bollywood market. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that transition and the journey and the differences you've kind of felt? I didn't, I didn't even think that was going to happen. I had no plans to go to Bollywood. Mm -hmm. It's just my mom was like, you do real hip hop, Indian local gana karte. So I decided to write Kalasi. And I thought being being, you know, a alcohol song, it might be an issue, you know, female talking about that. I mean, there's so many alcohol songs by male singers. But if I was to do it, it might be a problem and it get banned and nobody would like like it. I didn't know it was gonna turn into such a big anthem. And it went even bigger in India. So I just went to do a few shows. I met Shankar San Loy. And they were like, listen, we really like your music. Let's do something together. So my my biggest, you know, respect goes to Shankar for taking that first chance with me. And then I'm doing Move Your Body. That was for Johnny Gadar. And that's it. The rest is history. It just came one after the other. It just kept going. And I did loads of films. And here I am. Um, you've become a face that is um, very recognizable in Bollywood now. Uh, what are you trying to do now for the future? Like, or will we see you in more roles on screen, or will the music still be continuing in the films? I mean, I love doing music. That's my number one priority. I know with Patella House, I had fun. You know, it was so, it was an honor to work with like Dimpa Gavardia, Rishi Kapoor. You know, hang out with Akshay Bhaji and stuff like that. But my main aim is always music. If I get a right character, which I can do justice to, you know, then maybe I'll think about acting. But 
yeah, it, it takes so long and you have to have so much patience to do films where with my music you can make a song take a check go home but with a <laughs> film you're like there for the whole year you can go on and on and on so you need a lot of patience well, how would you describe your music to say new fans in North America uh, my music is just fun I, I like to make people happy so that's what my music is about it's about having a good time and partying that, that's what I do and at the end of the day you know I do real hip hop music I do mixtapes on the side but that's not what's going to sell so I'm you know making your bread and butter is really important as well so I just make happy music also when they want to make a hit they like call hardcore nice <laughs> I like that um, what is your favorite song that you've written and you've performed I think Char Bajka is definitely my favorite because it was the first time people you know a, a music director said to me do whatever you want mm -hmm. it doesn't need to have like normally what happens if somebody sings a section then they call me for the rap Mm -hmm. With this, it was like, do whatever you want. So as long as you just add a little Hindi. So first time I was like writing totally for me, I, ran, I sang the whole song. So that was really exciting for me. And I really liked that because that's one thing that the youth was driven by, you know, like mm -hmm. I got a lot of young fan following and all the colleges and the unis went crazy with that song. So It's so fun to have the free reign to do yeah. what you want creatively. So. Yeah. Um, what can fans expect from your performance on Thursday? I'm gonna rock it, that's what I do. <laughs> I come to rock the stage, I cannot go home like that. So all I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna kill you. I'm gonna do Sing Is King, I'm gonna do It's ah, Like a Lassie, nice. uh, my new track, the Gunpati track from ABCD. So yeah, it's gonna, be, gonna be fun. Yeah. Um, what advice, words of advice um, or encouragement do you have for Darpin's readers? Um, well, I, I'm, I'm not somebody who's like too you know, I can't give advice because I'm not bad for myself. But musically, I would say to, like, especially the women out there, you know, if you want to do something in your life and you feel that you have the talent, believe in yourself and go for it. If people try to stop you, that's going to happen in any job. Anything you do is going to be hard. So if you, if you feel that you have the talent, believe in yourself, go for it. If you're dedicated, you'll make it. You're such a great role model for South Asians and especially South Asian women. And we're so thankful that you spoke with us today. Thank you for coming to Vancouver Thank and taking you. the time to speak with Darpin. Thank you for having me. And we're going to rock the pie. Yes, and we call can't me wait. Because I'm coming back. <laughs> we're <laughs> excited and uh, we're going to check out the show tomorrow night. Yep.